<laughs> yeah, I was just telling uh, Sasha I like your uh, sweater there. It's a rabbit and uh, what is it? Carrots? Yes. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome to Night Owls. It is Sunday, April 21st. <clears throat> And yesterday, yesterday was the birthday of one of the greatest men to have ever lived. Happy birthday, baby. Carol Lloyd. And Chris McGlover. Yes. And someone else we can't say. Yes. But, and it uh, was also a wheat day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and I think it was uh, uh, the day of Columbine. And when oh, they did the Waco Massacre, I think. Was really? That. It's all on 420. I think so. Oh. Yeah. 420 is a big day, so. So day after 420, Didn't I hope you guys had a big... 420 bait. used to be Earth Day at one point, or did they change it? Like you know, I don't know. I just remember Earth Day. Do you remember? You're probably too young. They had something, if you guys in the audience remember, Earth Shoes. That sounds kind of familiar. Are they like made out of pi like tires? I don't know. It was something that was supposed to be conformed better to the Earth or something like that. Yeah, Earth Day, uh, that kind of just went away. That was kind of a big thing. And now it's kind of morphed into this, you will eat the bugs, climate change, you know? Yeah. So uh, they kind of got away from all that hippie stuff. So I remember Disney used to have a documentary every year about like either a creature or the yeah. ocean. I don't think they do that anymore. We went to a thing that I bet it was big in, uh, we could tell, right, where we went today? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we went to uh, Terra Studios. It's in Arkansas. <clears throat> It's not too far from Fayetteville. We just took a drive there. And um, does someone, is there a dog in here? Or? No. Oh, that was you. Okay. Yeah. I felt something yeah. hit my leg and I was like, what is that? Um, did I tell you the other night I was in bed and I felt like this thing, like just on my skin. And I'm like, what the hell is that? And there's a spider on me. Really? Yeah. That's it's scary. And I screamed like a girl. No, I didn't. <laughs> I squished him though. And I'm like, what the hell? I, you know, you're just about to go to sleep. You feel a little, you know, right on your yeah, shoulder. I'm like, what is weird. that? So um, anyway, yeah, there's this place called Terra Studio. And it was founded in the 70s as an art com commune. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't think that because this is like the uh, red estate. It, this is what's interesting about Northwest Arkansas. It is very conservative. You see Confederate battle flags and all that type of stuff. But there's always been a kind of a hippie liberal element to this area, too. Yeah. And uh, in fact, uh, they had all sorts of all, all sorts of weird things. I won't say so that other thing. But they had um, this commune where the artists just got together, man. And the guy that started it ended up getting fabulously rich because he did the little bluebirds of happiness. Yeah, and they sell them all over. I've seen them. I saw them at Rockford once in the Hallmark store there. But they don't do it anymore because of climate change. I, I think it's really because the guy got died and they got tired of it. I don't know. Those people are really into climate change. They are. They're, stuff. They it, might actually believe that shit. I don't know. And whatever happened, to, uh, hippies used to be kind of cool. Now they're all about homosexuality. They had all the, the gay uh, pride flags up. And they believe in every scam, like climate change. They were all into the vaccine they and were. everything. And, uh, and they're all into war now. It's, it's really weird how everything is really uh, uh, flipped. But back in the day in the 70s, I can uh, picture that the people at Terra Studios, they probably were into Earth Day. And probably. Sitting around and, you know, Mother Earth. You know, and part of it, to be fair, I, I care about the environment. If I have my kingdom... That's one of the reasons I would restrict immigration. We don't need people in and tear down, and I, I, I care about that. So yeah, me too. But uh, they kind of that's been co-opted now by the climate change fraud. So that's what's happening. Fayetteville now. used to have um, Spring Fest, and that was always a lot of fun. And they'd have it around this time, but they got rid of it. There used to be like tons of people on Dixon Street and. Nearby, I had a booth there one year. Spring Fest was it like a uh, just a party thing? Well, they had booths and people oh, would okay. eat. And <clears throat> then we had that stupid bike booze and barbecue, and now Rogers has that, yeah. so they can deal with the traffic and all the noise. So yeah, so uh, what was I talking about? Earth Day and uh, Earth Shoes, and oh, that's yeah. right, because you're saying when the Earth Day is. I don't hear much about that much anymore. No, me either. And when I was a kid, the big thing was uh, give a hoot, don't pollute. Remember yeah, pollution remember or don't be litter bug? Yeah. 
And I, I agree with that. But now we got all these uh, third world immigrants shitting in the street, throwing trash everywhere. So I think that's a cultural thing where you're mm -hmm. from. Yeah, because uh, exactly. Europeans always been more clean and stuff. Yeah. Like, let's face it, in Mexico, they don't really care about cleanliness or trash. Right. <laughs> they just throw everything everywhere. Or Indians, they just, you know. Crap in the street. Yeah, so it, it's not the same. <laughs> but that was a big thing when I was a kid, too. So, uh, yeah, things had definitely changed. So we went there today. A beautiful day here. Um, it was in the what, 50s or 60s. It's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. I had my jacket on, my actually my dad's leather jacket. And um, but it was nice. And uh, I played uh, Sasha, she had to play chess in junior high, and we played out at Terra Studios. They have some of those big chess boards that are like, Yeah, it's fun. You can walk the pieces. You, you, you have to walk the pieces. It's like, uh, you know, it's huge. You know, yeah. it's not like a little game, it's where you have to walk and move the piece. And we had a lot of fun playing that. So I, uh, I was showing her how the pieces move, stuff like that. Because you probably forgot after all these years. I remembered bit. some, but I forgot yeah. some. But yeah, we used to play in this one class I had, or they taught us how to play. Yeah. So we, we played the big chess, and hey, it was a good day. It was a good day. It was. And I mm -hmm. did a lot of yard work because I got uh, woefully behind everything because of all the rain. And and I got I to gotta start earlier on that next mm -hmm. year. I'm mm -hmm. finally about caught up, but man, it took a while, so... We saw Abigail last night. We did. We're going to talk a lot about stuff. I'm already, we got some power chats. And by the way, guys, if you're new to this, <laughs> I laugh because this is a show that's kind of like Seinfeld. It's about nothing. It's, it's whatever we want to talk about. Uh, most of my shows are politically related. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I have my ha ha uh, Ramsey Paul show. Wednesday, Happy Homelands. And then I do my short videos, but uh, Night Owls, we mostly talk about culture stuff, but we will talk politics. I guess we're talking a little bit about climate change, immigration, but uh, typically we talk about movies. And I, I want to talk about a couple of movies, some of the uh, previews we saw and the movies uh, we recently saw. We saw, um, yeah, make sure no one's acting too bad in there too, because we'll just get yeah, I think it's okay right now. Everyone's doing good there. So I want to talk about, because um, I, I did a review on it, but I want to talk about the Civil War. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about Abigail. And I also want to talk about the movie we saw the other day, what, Boys in Cars. or Riding, oh, riding with, in Cars with Boys. Yeah. And we got some, uh, we already got some uh, power chats before the show by Kim, if you want to go over those. Sure. Where are it, those? It's in that power chat. Oh, here we go. And uh, you scroll down, we'll just do it from the earliest. Kim, F, Kim had a couple here. So. Okay, so there's 420, starting yeah, 420. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Kim Anthony, thank you. Hey, guys, do you have at any time found, again, some music that you loved but forgot about it? Mine or the cars, just what I needed in danger, danger. That's what I'm talking about. I remember the cars. I, I like the cars. Me too. And I remember danger, danger, too. Well, how's Danger Danger go? Were they the ones that sang, let's get naughty, naughty? Wasn't that Danger really? Danger? Like in the late 80s? Or uh, am I thinking of a different It could be. Now? And you saw Sasha singing that reminding me. Thank you. We haven't forgot, Moron. Uh, you're to sing two songs, one of your choice, one of my right. choice. And we'll probably do that next and, week. And, yeah, we'll do this next week. And someone, thank you. Do you have that? Uh, it's the in the other room. But someone sent in, and I, I forget their name, but thank grandma. you, but they, they, what? I think Grandma was their name. Grandma's the name. Yeah. Send us, uh, so $20, send $20. Sasha will do a karaoke song. And there's already one on Rumble. And it's hard because we don't have a lot of good audio for here to hear, but you, you got a good voice, so I enjoyed yeah, that. Not, I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of fun. Um, let's see, music that, yeah, yeah. Um, I go in cycles kind of in my life. I'll listen to a bunch of bands and then I won't listen. I'll listen to new bands and then I'll go back to the old bands and just like a circle. Like I've been listening I, to more 90s stuff. Yeah, I do that and too. And in my 20s, I listen to a lot of 80s stuff. And I mean, I still do, but because maybe because I've gone through all my old um, heavy metal magazines and stuff, it's like, oh, I remember this band and I remember this band. And I did that with John Denver. I started listening to his stuff and he's always about flowers and love and living in harmony but like in real life he was like an asshole he got a fight yeah. with his wife and tore his bread apart with a chainsaw well and he sang with the muppets remember the muppet, yeah. the muppet christmas album yeah John, or he was a good singer he, he was, was a good songwriter yeah 
I like in Dumb and Dumber when uh, one of the guys falls asleep and they wake up and they're like in Nebraska mm -hmm. and Jim Carrey goes, that John Denver's full of shit, man. Remember that? Yeah. And they're like, that everything's flat. That always yeah. makes me think of that. We got another one. And by the way, thank you, Kim. And yeah. Another one he gave beforehand. Uh, I'm kind of a simple man. Leonard, the Doobie Brothers, GNR Cream, still there is something more beautiful. Um, Percival, Canon in D major, a German composer and organist from 1680. Yeah, that's classical music can be nice too. It is. Well, so I've been learning to play the piano and we play mm -hmm. like some classical, like I'm doing like learning a Chopin waltz. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it's called. And then um, the King's, this, uh, I guess, I don't know, that song I played for you, I guess you would consider that classical. The King's March or wherever it is. Yeah. I like that. That, that, was, like, a, that forward, was a good deal. Forward. It's fun. Yeah, Sash is taking piano lessons. Down. Pianist, and uh, yeah, you're doing a really good job on that too. Yeah, I need to practice more. It's fun. I kind of get into it. Uh, Tony, uh, thank you, Tony. Thank you. Tucker Carlson did a show with Joe Rogan. I gotta first. watch it. Did you, did you hear that? I didn't watch it, but he was. I'm on surprised Joe he hasn't been on Joe Rogan. Has he not ever been on him before? I think he has, but he was just on again. Okay. Yeah. The first hour he discussed aliens or UFOs. Is this a weird new angle? Rams can attest Alex Jones and Red Ice used to discuss UFOs only and not politics. I'd never picture Rams talking UFOs like Tucker. That's because I, I don't I don't believe in him. I thought Alex Jones did talk politics too, though, didn't he? Or was he did he start out? Well, he started out, he got big kind of politics. He did he snuck into the Bohemian Grove yeah. and took a photo of their big owl they have there. And um yeah, I I, I kind of disagree a little bit with Tucker on UFO stuff. I I don't believe in them. I uh, I don't know. I think they could exist. Why not? Do you believe in creatures from outer space visiting here? I don't know if they'll visit here, but just because we can't get to them, they can't get to us, doesn't mean they don't exist somewhere. Well, but there'd be UFOs. That's what they're talking about. So I don't. Oh, I don't know. If they if they're ever worried, you think the government would let anyone know? I they tend to. They tend to remember. They used to always come down and uh, probe uh, Hicks up the butt late at night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't believe in it. Uh, the Golden Girls. Rose thought she saw a UFO, and she's like, "Just think, they could have uh, cures for our diseases. New storylines for Al. Remember yes. that." <laughs> yeah. It'd be cool if they, I mean it'd be like in the movies, like Earth Girls are easy when the aliens came down and they were kind of cool. Aliens or Al, mm -hmm. ET. It's always fun to think of aliens, but then there's the scary ones too, like in Aliens. They were. I, I don't believe in UFOs. I don't believe in astrology, and I don't believe in equality of man. So those are some of the things. Oh, here we go. Um, Biff, I already you. did Harold's cap before. Thank that you. Him can Sasha please, oh flower of Scotland, a la the Corys. Thank you. Also, can you? Uh, I can't word it. Uh, One time review led essay, uh, something I can't really see. 1960s movie. If you do, I'll post another $21. Okay, uh, yeah, we will write keep this down. Write so, it down. Well, this this save, so okay. we got it. And so, yeah, um. So you, have I, you ever heard Flower of Scotland? I think you've played it for me before. It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, Flower of Scotland. <laughs> you got to try to have a Scottish action. So Can I you do a Scottish action? I'm not on the fly like this. I have to start watching DuckTales. Yeah. Get that down. So Bridge we'll, we'll get that down Scottish. for 21 And we will do a, yeah, if that guy pays $20 to do a review. Yeah, that's right? awesome. Yeah. We'll review that movie. Um, What's I've called? never heard of it. I'm either we can get a copy of it. Yeah, well, we will. It's a '60s movie. We'll we will get it. Write so, all these down, so I get to sing like four songs next week. I know you're you're Sasha's getting a new. It's pretty soon you're getting a new career being a singer. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I know, and um, we need to get a band going. Uh, we should. I because I played the trombone in marching band. I'll keep working on the um keyboards. Did you play the jug? Or was Shut that... up. You always do that jug joke. No, I did not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I Remember like the, the Snoopy? Uh, which one was it? The one where Snoopy goes back to see his brothers and sisters yeah. and they, they're in a band? Yeah. The pu Like the Puppy uh, Hill, Puppy Spring Farm or whatever the hell it was called. Did you ever see that cartoon? But one mm. of them played the jug, one of his brothers. Well, see, Sasha's not huge on country music, but I'm going to have her sing. Because the more I said I get to pick a song for Sasha, she has to do it. Coal miner's daughter and 
I, I kind of like that country sound. I think you have a good country voice, even mm-hmm. though you don't like country music. But I don't dislike mm-hmm. it. It's just yeah. not my favorite. But it talks I about like a holler, water. and uh, I live in a well, we live in a holler here too. So I do. Yeah, that's uh, kind of hits home there. So I uh, thank you for that. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. And I will sing your song. Yeah. So if anyone else wants whatever you want Sasha oh, to do, she will sing look at for. That. There's like. Um, a bunch of stuff yeah okay so you, you want, want to do it uh hey max ten dollars thanks you oh wait did you okay no you haven't uh thank you if rams ever spoke a non-political topic i picture it being about black holes in space is this true also colorado avalanche won their first playoff game today i think yay and thank you and k uh, k max i love that hat you got me and i will wear that if hey if when they win i'll wear that hat um but yeah, black holes. I did a video once years ago about black holes because really? this big uh, fat back black lady got mad at Target because you open it up and it talk about a, a black hole, mm-hmm. you know. But she thought it sounded like a black hole. Oh, really? Yeah. So she got mad and triggered. <laughs> so that that's a true story. So yeah, I remember that. Thank you, KMX. On oh, that. Dylan. Hey, thank you. Uh, Twenty dollars. Thank you. Do the thing. Here is the money. I have no clue what it is. Whatever do the thing so does he want you to do something for this money so you can um review a movie or sing a song yeah we'll we'll do something on that we'll so. do something yeah we'll get you another song Dylan, okay so that. write that down or he might want a movie review or something yeah that'd be cool so you well know, thank you guys for that a lot and uh yeah anyway th- welcome to night owls uh, we do this on rumble youtube and on x and i think we should be going uh g- are, are we good okay. Let me just see if we're going good on X here. I think, oh, I haven't checked X. X, I bet we are. And then we should talk about that movie last night or talk about that Civil War movie. You want to talk about that? Yeah, that'd be fun. You fine. did a video about it though, so I feel There like we are. There we are. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we, we got some people in there. So how do you see how many people are watching it? Well, I can see here this is a total of all three platforms. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, let's talk about the Civil War movie first. Because I've, you know, in order well, of what yeah, we saw, I, I'm, I don't want to redo it all. I did. A, oh, we got a, a K-Max a thing. Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. Forgot to ask earlier book club. What is the next book for your book club? Oh, discussion? the brain. The I'm going to post this again. I'll post this tomorrow. Guys, sorry about that. Yeah, Paul needs to pick a day. It's The Bomb Inside My Brain by Jim Goat. And Jim Goat is going to talk about it. Yeah, so he'll, he'll join people, our book so club and you, be there. You could yeah. talk to him in person about that or whatever. So he's a good guy. He's talented. Um, So you need to pick a day to start it and yeah. a day to end it. Yeah. I know, because it's been like a while since you planned it. I know, I know, I know. Um, we just had a lot going on with other things. Yeah, got married. We're gonna get caught up. Yeah, we're we're trying to get caught up. Yeah, we'll we'll get there. But um, thank you. Let's see. And uh, what were we talking about? The um, Civil, oh, Civil War movie. Yeah. yeah well, I was just talking about on X. All the platforms we're on every week, and so. And by the way, guys, if you like uh, like this, like and subscribe and. Uh, pass this on to friends. A lot of people I get, they say this is their favorite show. Yeah, me too. It's funny. I think people get burned out on politics. Yeah, it it's is. Really it's depressing. And... I, I Even on my show, and Session knows this, I really make an effort not just to be doom and gloom every day because things are kind of bad at pretty much, you know, but I we still got to have fun. Right. But, you know, I'm not, and not everything's great, but, no. you know. But you got to tune it out once in a while. You do. It is. Just so. enjoy your life or else it gets... Yeah. Depressing. Okay, so Civil War. Yeah, Civil War Two. So I don't want to redo because if you guys were part of my um, Gum Road, by the way, if you're not joining us, only five bucks a month, um, you would get the my review of it. So I'm not going to repeat the entire review. Uh, I thought it was, and first of all, I liked it more than Sasha did. I think I liked it because. I kind of wanted to, the theme of America breaking apart, even normal people are starting to get the vibe. I found that interesting. I, I didn't care for the movie in the sense that it really lacked a plot. It, it, there was no politics in it. You didn't understand why the war was happening or the reason. It was kind of silly. Texas and California joined up to fight Washington. And it's mostly a road trip movie, which I told Sasha, and she gave me a little pushback on it. But I think that's kind of a copped out when you can't figure out a plot. There are good road trips. You get a bunch of people together, put them on a road trip, and you, oh, we stop here, this happens, stop here. There's like tons of good road trip movies. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Awesome movie. 
good plot, very funny. It was a road trip movie. Thelma and Louise was a road trip movie. But you, it, it is an easy, movie. it's a trope way to do it. But it's fun. And but this was a road movie. trip. They it was these four heroic journalists, very diverse, by the way. They had to um they wanted to go Washington, DC to interview the president. They never did that, but it was other like violent encounters along the way, which um they were kind of bloody, but I don't know. I don't know. It was really slow. I mean, I don't know. It just was kind of, I thought it was dull. And like you said, they didn't really explain anything. And I don't know. I know one guy that watches you said, like, I guess he likes the action scenes. It's like, watch Robocop. That has a good story and good action. Because the Or you talk about Terminator 2. Terminator 2 is better than this. But it's just like, I don't know. I and, just didn't think it was that good. And they had Kirsten is how you pronounce Kirsten. it? Kirsten. Kirst, I call it Kirsten. It's Kirsten Dunst. And she played, uh, well, she's really aged too. Because <laughs> I always remember her role being oh, this she's young so thing. old. Yeah, it was, it was funny. She's what, 42, 43? Yeah, but they didn't make her up at all. She looked no, up. I think that was the point mm -hmm. though. Yeah, and it was kind of a waste too to have her in a movie. And like, she didn't really have anything to do. I she guess. played a very flat role. She did. Like, everybody did. Though. Her hus real-life husband had, they really stole the scene. He just had a minor role, but, but that was the best part. But he had to play kind of like a, um, I don't know. He had, like, kind of a fun part. Mm -hmm. Her part was this brooding, well, I'm this journalist that's seen all these horrible things, and I just can't sleep at night. Well, I was talking to Sasha because we were watching Bump, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I should have her on because she follows me on I've said X. that. She probably won't be on your show, but it'd be cool. You should ask her. I will. Her. Kristen Swanson. Christy Swanson. Christy Swanson. She'd probably be really upset if I got her name wrong, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't even know who she was when I was watching it. He came in and he goes, who's the girl with the boobs? That's what he said. <laughs> I didn't look at her face. She and Tiss were hanging out nicely, but that was... Uh, that was a fun movie, but Sasha was saying that's when they could make girls dumb in movies. Yeah, now it's not her really, but her friends. Were right kind of now, stupid. because of all this politically correct bullshit, they can't have female characters that are interesting because right. they all have to be perfect. But they were funny, I thought. I mean, yeah. they're dumb, but it was like, like good comedy. But getting back to the Civil War, the the female characters they had no personality really. Yeah, they weren't likable, like either no. one of them, like. Um, and I didn't even realize that that was the girl from Priscilla till we went home and I looked no. and I was like, she was way better in Priscilla. Yeah. Like they, they didn't give her shit to do in this movie either. It just wasn't a good movie. Yeah. And it seemed like it did a kind of forced diversity too. Like, oh, the black guy's the hero. Well, you knew and that. You had the, white guy the, the older movie. black guy that's the sage and wise hero from New York Times. Something like right. that. Right. <laughs> Then you had the mystery guy race, mystery meat. Uh, what was he, Hispanic maybe? Probably Hispanic, if I had to guess. And then you had the two white girls. Yeah. Was that Priscilla girl white? I think so. All right. But it was so, uh, it's just like, it was funny because as Sasha said, if we were looking at movies in the 90s and 80s, it was like, like half the female characters were blonde. They were. You don't see, you don't ever now see blonde male characters, no. unless they're villains. And, um, it was a, a lot wider back then. And I, I look for, this is when I go through the previews of the movies, I look for, if you can get black free, that's the best. But if I, I, I don't, I have a limit how much I can take a diversity. Right. Well, it just seems forced. Like they can't get a cast of people that just maybe have good chemistry. They have to check all these boxes, mm -hmm. you know, where otherwise they might've had a better movie because they would have people that you really cared about. Cause I didn't yeah. care about the characters. No, I didn't either. I've been happy. They all died. Me I didn't too. Care. I don't know. It was just like really kind of disappointing. Cause that guy bragged it up. Like it was the best thing ever. And we saw it and I was like, eh. well, Brandon so told me he, sorry, he watched a guy on YouTube that did a review and the guy didn't like it. And the guy was like more on the right, I guess too. And but, he didn't like it. And then he told me kind of what it was about. And I was like, yeah, it doesn't sound that good. Well, anyway. two of the characters, uh, main characters, four main characters, two die. I won't spoil which two, but I have to say, Sesha, I didn't give a shit. Did you feel any emotional tug at your heart? No, nope, not, at, not all. at all. I was just like, yeah, whatever. So uh, that was, um, from a movie point of view, I didn't think it was that great. It could have been more interesting. There were a few interesting parts in the movie. I mean, the idea of the movie yeah. was kind of interesting. It's one of those movies where uh, I wish they did a whole, that'd be my fantasy. They do a whole series by like Harold Covington, the brigade. Oh yeah. Now that would be cool. 
but they want to never do that. Mm -hmm. But in my fantasies, they would do a really cool movie about that, you know, but uh, like people really fighting against this corrupt government. Right. Them, they could never make that, but that'd be fun. Uh, so it's like I went into this and I'd be like, oh, this kind of, it, you, it'd be so cool if they just did it right. Yeah. But they didn't really do it right. Mm -hmm. There's a problem. Uh, so I'm not going to repeat my whole review. If you want to see my whole review, go to Gumroad. I wouldn't recommend it. That's yeah. my, um, that's me. I just didn't think it was that good. I would recommend Abigail because that was a lot of fun. And that had kind of a twist too. And it was fun. All right. Abigail, just so you guys know, just as a, um, it's a ballerina, uh, vampire. And, uh, um, I didn't even talk to Sasha too much about this. I liked the movie, but I thought the first three quarters was really good. I didn't. I thought at the end it got kind of too silly. I don't know. I like the end. Yeah. Well, Wonder, what I, it I is. I don't want to say anything about giving shit away, though. Well, the thing. I, I will tell you this. It's not. Do they make horror movies anymore, or are they all ironic, campy? This is an no, ironic, they campy. Horror, they make horror movies. What's in a, a recent horror Well, there's movie? that one that's coming out with Nicolas Cage. I think it was Nicolas Cage, because I don't like him, but this movie actually looked pretty good, where they're, like, in some kind of bomb shelter or something. That looked oh, like okay. a good... And that one we saw that... um With the guy, it looked... Well, I got scary. a list on that. Yeah, there could be, because um, ever since... Uh, because maybe they kind James of ran McAvoy it. Was in it. I, I, it's just a trend they've done ever since Scream. A Scream was great. I think that was an excellent movie. And I, it's almost with well, these horror movies are like, okay, we can't hardly do these anymore. We always got to make them kind of tongue in cheek, comedies, campy. And that's okay. But it's just been done so much. And this movie's in that genre. It's a campy, tongue in cheek movie. Right. But they do make horror movies. Um, but the campy ones are fun. I didn't say they aren't fun. I'm just saying that that's what this is. So if people want to see like a campy. It's a great movie. Like you, cause I could see, you know, get a tub of popcorn, a Coke, and just have fun watching it. And it, it really was the first part of the movie I thought was done pretty well. Mm -hmm. I really did. And uh, then it got, to me, it got a little over the top silly at the end. But um, I still like the movie. I would recommend it. Yeah, it was a lot better than Civil War. They're two. It's comparing apples and oranges. I yeah, don't know. But it was way better. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like if how you compare them, it was just better. I would suggest go see it. Yeah, it it was it was pretty good. I I, I liked it. Um, but it was it's one of those. Uh, they did the trope too, which is fun because I'm a sucker for these where you're kind of trapped in a house or haunted house type thing. Right. And they kind of have that vibe to it too. And you know, the vampire thing though, I think to me, it's just been so played out. I like vampire stuff though. If they do it, but good. it's been so played out. The only thing I didn't really like their teeth. I like the old school vampire yeah. teeth where the, like these two are long. Now they have these weird jaggedy teeth. Right. But I don't know. I like it. Yeah. Vampires haven't played out. So is everything else. How many zombie movies are there? A gazillion. <laughs> Which is, that's probably the least played out, maybe. I always thought vampires originally were a metaphor for a, a type of person that, I mean, let's face it, they they hate Jesus, they hate the cross, uh, they have no self-awareness, meaning they can't see the reflection. Yeah. Uh, they kind of suck the lifeblood out of you. Uh, and uh, so, I don't know. I, I that's, but that these, uh, I don't. This it's a vampire movie. Top five vampire movies is your top five. I can't think of five movies. Oh come on, you really can't think of five vampire. No, movies. I can't think of five vampire movies. <laughs> well, Dracula, the classic, movies, right? Yeah, and then there were the seventies ones with Christopher Lee. Did you see those? That was the first Dracula I ever saw. Hmm. They're really good. At least that one was. Did they make a seventies Dracula? Am I Lee. am I wrong, or did they make a Blackula too? They did. They was did. that a comedy or serious? I think it's a comedy. I've never seen it. Black you laugh. I think it's kind of like what you know, like a parody yeah. type movie. I would say Lost Boys, Near Dark, Lost Never Boys, was the Vampire. Fun. Um, Bram Stoker was pretty good, and the Christopher Lee Dracula was pretty good. My top three, I guess, would be Lost Boys, Near mm -hmm. Dark, and um, Interview with a Vampire. 
Salem's Lot, that was good too. Do you think vampires are, are popular because of kind of the undertone of sexuality but with them? Yeah, I think like, so. And, yeah. and they're like, it appeal, it's appealing because oh, you live forever and you're beautiful yeah. and you don't age. And, yeah. You know, they're all rich because you can just rob whoever you take drink the blood from. Oh, there's a one that you might like that's a uh, vampire movie. I forgot about this one. Is it Daybreak? And it's about like basically there's vampires, but everybody turns their friends and family into vampires. So there's more vampires than there are humans. And they have mm. like synthetic blood and everything because there's not enough blood to go around. So if they catch a human, they have to harvest the blood. It's it's kind of a neat idea. Yeah. Like um, it's different. I know you should watch it. It had uh, Ethan Hawke was in it. And then uh, another movie we saw, but it was just on a. What did, what did we see that? Was it DVD or did you stream it? DVD. And it was uh, Riding in Cars with Boys? Yeah. And That's that an was Drew movie. Barrymore? Yes. We could talk old movies. So we did uh, yeah. uh, Gone with the Wind the other day. We, I liked it. I thought it was kind of fun. Yeah. And it. It was, what was interesting, and again, is it, they, I don't know, think they could do the movie. Well, one, it was almost an all-white movie. It was all-white. And it was... Th the lead female character, she had a lot of flaws. She wasn't mm, perfect. She and so they couldn't do that now in a movie. And I thought that it, it held my interest. I did like it. So um, Sasha's so checking her rumble. Well, I like there. to keep an eye on everything. No, it is good. I, I appreciate that. I just that. make sure everything's working and everything. I agree with you. So I'm going to go power chat, see if we got anything there. Nope, we'll All right. Up. We're good. All right. I'm going to take a look at this. Your list. Yeah, we had a list of some of these uh, things coming out. Uh, Planet of the Apes is coming out. Yeah, I want to see that. I like. Did you? Sasha's never seen the original Planet of the Apes. Mm -hmm. We got to. You got to see that as a classic. Brandon said he told me he liked that one the best. He thought the old ones were better. And then I remember as a kid, I saw it as a kid on TV. Then they, I, I don't know. I, at first, I thought, am I dreaming this? But they did have a series, a Planet of the Apes series. Oh, really? I yeah, a TV that. series. And that was good. Who so, was in it? I'm assuming Charleston Heston was not in the TV show. It wasn't because he was in the movies, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, but it was a good movie. But the new ones are good, too. But they're coming out with a new Planet of the Apes, so we'll see that. Uh, we There's one by, uh, I almost see it look a lot, very heavily black. And they made fun of the, you know, the South and Hicks. Bad Boys, Ride or Die. Yeah, it's, I guess, a sequel to Bad Boys with Will Smith. I never saw Bad yeah, Boys. It's a very black one. I'm not going to do that. Ministry of War. I didn't want to see that because it's it's about World War II. We're getting the evil Nazi type stuff, and I always root for the other side. So isn't that out now? Like, there's another. There's some movie that's out that's like that. I don't know if it's that one now. And uh, a lot of movies like that. Let's see here. Uh, one was Horizon. What was that one about? You know, I forget. See, I wrote it when we were in the. I should have made a little note for this, but I can just look at this. See what that is. Oh, it looked like they're remaking Twister. Yeah, but we'll get that's on the next one. Horizon is oh, that's a, a um oh the Kevin Costner that actually looked pretty good. A cowboy thing. Yeah. You know, I'm always skeptical if they can do cowboys right anymore because of the political correctness or yeah. SUW is ism. But that would be a uh, I think that could be a good one too. Horizon Twisters. I to me, how do you make a movie twist? How do you make a movie about twisters again? How you do have people it? drive around and follow tornadoes? That's like how you make a movie. Boring. But it's not about watching the people. It's about watching the cool twisters. Yeah, I know. guess. That's a way to get to see a, uh, a tornado without having to be around one in I, life. I was close to a tornado in real life. I used to live in Oklahoma. and there One came within a mile of me, so. Yeah, have you ever been close to a tornado? Yeah, around here, the tornadoes get, you know. Oh, really? One tornado... I think we're in Tornado Alley, but there's a lot of freaking tornadoes in this area. We get some really bad uh, uh, storms. Mm -hmm. Fayetteville I, never, I, we haven't had a tornado, I don't think, since the 50s. I want to have one here because I'm in the mountains. But, but in flat areas, you can get uh, twisters. I'm pretty sure Rockford had one. I think I saw on, because um, they get tornadoes too, like the Midwest gets tornadoes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, they're scary. Uh, then we saw A Quiet Place. <laughs> I just put blocks. Uh, that was, I think, uh, was that the... No, that actually looked good, though. Was that the... Uh, that had aliens in it. Did it? I okay. think so, if that's what I'm thinking of. 
where it's like they show like 400 and some 427 days in the future at first mm-hmm. and it's like how it got there day one and then it was um people like running around and then it showed these like creatures drop so i thought it was an alien movie and then the other one is i saw the tv glow it's a horror movie uh scheduled to be released on may 3rd um i don't know we saw that uh, th- there was one preview oh, that that dumb. did it oh, That's okay the one where they bond over a tv show oh, okay but it, you know what i mean it didn't look i don't know i didn't think it looked that good yeah and then there's something called maxine with like uh uh three x's oh that was a that she went into like a porn star to become famous or something. Something about Rip the Night Stalker too. Yeah, that could be interesting. Yeah. So there's a few there's a few shows coming up and uh oh the mummy the re release and I never did see that. Me so. either. And Brandon said he'd never seen it. It's weird none of three of us haven't seen that movie. We go see that and I think it's next weekend though so I don't know how we're gonna make it. Back to black uh that's Amy Winehouse they're making a movie about her. Did you ever um Sorry, did, silence this. did you like her or Amy Winehouse? Yeah, she was all right. I didn't have any of her albums or anything, but I, I couldn't name you one of her I songs. I didn't mind it when she came on the radio. Or did she drink herself to death, or how did she die? Uh, yeah, I think she. I don't know. I think she overdosed or drank herself to death. Uh, let's see. Then tarot, tarot, tarot cards. Tarot. So yeah, that's another horror movie. And uh, Sasquatch looked kind of good. That was That's about now. It's got good reviews. I'd like to see it. That's about all these Bigfoot creatures. That'd be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Do you believe in Bigfoot in real life? No, I don't either. Did you ever see Harry and the Hendersons? Uh, I, think I, I asked you that. We should make a note of that and I'll try to really right. download it or see if I can find it. It's probably streaming somewhere. Mm-hmm. I like that movie as a kid, I haven't seen it since. Yeah, sometimes that... those movies don't age that well that is good and um i'm just thinking what else did i have here and everything uh all right we that was we already had that oh i watched clean and sober yesterday. oh dylan uh had, we had another uh super chat from dylan uh i had a substance a, a substitute teacher in the eighth grade who called himself count blackula he taught that class how to and a man with a hair pick. <laughs> <laughs> Education is truly priceless. It is. <laughs> That's funny, Dylan. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of funny uh, stuff out there. Uh, I count Blackula. I never saw it. It yeah. might be amusing. I don't know. <laughs> when I was in Romania, I took a um, a, a tour of the actual castle that uh, Vladim Play- Paler was in. That's so, neat. Yeah, he was that based on the. That's where they got the whole uh, Dracula thing. Did you read Dracula the book? I don't know. Is it good or boring? I've never read it. My friend, the the lefty guy that you know, he yeah. said he hated that book and he like ripped it into a million pieces after he finished it. So really? it might be good. Yeah, it might be good. Like, he doesn't like it. So that the, o- the only book I almost did that to was uh, James Joyce Ulysses. Oh, yeah. uh, I hated that. I wanted it. <laughs> Dig up at James Joyce's grave and cut him on fire. Read that trash at first, and I told you I was just like, just don't read it. It's pretentious, pretentious, and uh, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty bad. Oh, and I got Sasha because she didn't think she would like watching it, but on Hulu they have some of the old praisers and we were watching a couple of those. That it was, was kind of funny. funny. I didn't, I thought, God, I had friends that watched mm-hmm. it and it was like in the early 2000s before it was canceled. Yeah. I remember they, they made me watch it, but I didn't care for it because I didn't know the characters. Right. You had to think at the time you said it was on 11 seasons. Yeah. So when I watched it, it was probably in like season eight. It probably already nine. jumped the start. By yeah. Then, and so I was just like, I didn't really care about it. And then we watched it and um, I watched it with Paul and I thought it was kind of funny. Yeah. They go to like some restaurant. They're supposed to go to some real fancy one, and like, what was the reason? Like, they could, didn't get tickets, or something happened. They didn't. Yeah, well, their dad, and their dad is like a retired cop, as sort of the down to earth type yeah, of guy. Yeah, so he took them to some place kind of like Cracker Barrel. Yeah, and just like they didn't. They were just snobby about the food the whole time. It was really funny. It, it was. I know, and I won't say names, but the session and I both know people that are real pretentious in real life about right. stuff like that. They put bacon bits on his. Uh, 
baked potato or whatever. <laughs> and he was all freaking out. He said, what are these? Mm. They're bacon bits. I told him to give you the, the works. And he said, well, you know, I don't eat bacon because of the nitrates. <laughs> there's there's so many pretentious people that uh, they won't, like, they don't want to go ever to Olive Garden, Cracker Barrel, or anything. You know, they're just, yeah. uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I just don't have time to be pretentious. Yeah. I can like just, de- you know, I can like real simple food, really. Me too. I don't have to be at a, you know, and if it's a chain, I don't care. Yeah, I don't either. As long as it's good. And they're, oh, they just uh, heat up the lasagna there. They don't really make it out of the restaurant. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. What I, what I, you know, whatever. Well, some of that stuff they make in the restaurant, they've already pre-made a lot of it anyway. Or the yeah. Other day, they just put it together. I, I, I worked at a Mexican restaurant. And that's kind of how we did stuff. You don't have time to make every little thing like that. Like, it takes a while to boil noodles. and Yeah. So I'm assuming they probably boil all the noodles and stuff, and then they kind of piece the lasagna together or whatever you get later, you know, those places. Like, do you really think they make the bread right before you walk in there? No. They probably have a guy work third shift or real early in the morning. Oh, yeah. They prep it. Yeah, that's So it's not like you're getting super, super fresh stuff anyway, unless you want to make it yourself. But it is funny. There's some people that are very pretentious about everything, so... Uh, I it don't was know. funny. Um, I watched Clean and Sober yesterday. Paul had never seen that, but you didn't watch. You you came in when it was almost over. That movie where Michael Keaton has to check himself into mm-hmm. rehab. He's such a good actor. And we were starting before we started Night Owls. Uh, I put on The Omen from 1976. Mm-hmm. That's about the Antichrist. Boy, Button did not like The Omen. Who? Button. She was oh. freaking out because there was like monkeys in the. Oh yeah, there was a, the baboons. The yeah, baboons. She yeah. She was like freaking out. She got mad at the baboons. She did. She likes to watch TV. By the way, that's my favorite word to say. Baboon. I like baboons. <laughs> They're kind of r- weird creatures though, because they always have that red butt. You ever yeah, notice that about do. them? Yeah. It's just like they'd be creatures that were twerk. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Yeah, I like them too. I like gorillas. Like yeah, they're cocoa. nice. Yeah. Remember Coco had that kitten and it got hit by a car. Remember Harambe sad. got shot? Yeah, I said, don't talk about Harambe with me. Why is that? Because I think it's sad. Well, I know it's sad. Killed that poor gorilla um, because of some is stupid it, kid. I wonder it's if like Hillary gorillas was are going it. extinct. Kids are not. Why yeah. did we have to kill that poor gorilla? And they couldn't just like stun it or something to get the kid. And the poor kid that was like his only father figure he's ever going to have <laughs> in his life. <laughs> So, yeah. It, yeah, I felt bad. I don't like to see animals killed like that. Like no. that guy in Z- was Zanesville. Is that where it was? Zanesville or hmm. Ohio. Remember that? He had that like zoo in his yard. Yeah. Didn't he commit suicide? But he let all the animals go before he did yeah, or something. I think so. hmm. It was real sad. And they shot most of them instead of, hey, maybe we could like get some yeah, wildlife no. people that know how to take care of this without killing the animals. But people freaked out. And so they shot most of them. Yeah. I didn't like hearing about But anyway, that. we were seeing the omen, and I, I don't know. It just didn't drag me in. Me either. It's kind of slow. It is slow. There's better, I don't know. I think there's better 70s horror movies. Do you think the Antichrist has been born yet? Yeah. Oh, really? Don't you? Probably. <laughs> I, I don't know. That'd be interesting. We're kind of going into a weird trial. You know, they want to sacrifice the red heifer and. The Antichrist will be Jewish, you know, so they'll try to in go to the Jerusalem and all that, build the temple. So, and you see all these Christians like falling away from their faith, like Mike Johnson and all that. Because they get paid. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. I like what this mighty crone guy said. What? Harambe is better than random. Yes. Look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree yeah, with that. Me too. Yeah, it, it, I felt bad for her yeah, me too. I don't like to hear about animals getting killed. No, I, I've I, I ran over a squirrel today. I felt bad about it. It is sad. Yeah, it is. Well, sometimes they run right out in front of your car. A lot of these animals too. <laughs> so, what else you got, Paul? Ah, uh, well, that was it. We're just talking to kind of a little bit about. Um, movies that's kind of what we've been into and in our tv program well i was telling paul i used to go to the movies about every weekend and then i had two jobs and so i didn't mm-hmm. go as much and then covid came and like there weren't really any new movies coming out we went to a lot of old movies then. you know what i like about the new theaters i don't know where you guys live but they they're really nice where you can lean back now they nice. they're really comfortable 
And uh, so far where we go, uh, the, the demographics is such, I guess some, if you have bad demographics, they yell at the screen and stuff, but we, I've never been in a movie here like that. Me either. Oh, Maybe actually my cousin did when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. It was funny. He was about three years old and we took him to see that movie, The Bear. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that movie? Mm -hmm. Or maybe he was five. I think he was five. And there was a part where I guess they were messing with the bear. I haven't seen the bear since yeah. it was in the theater when I was a kid yeah. and we saw it. But he was just a little guy and he stood up in the theater and he shouted, you leave that bear alone. <laughs> like, we were like, sit down. Like, it was cute, though. You met him, my cousin. That yeah. Met. yeah. No, not cocaine bear, uh, the bear. Yeah, I remember that there was a, it came out like 90 or 91. Yeah, it was kind of a little quirky movie that got pretty popular. Mm -hmm. Not a cocaine, cocaine bear is awesome. What did yeah. you think of? Because I just happened to see it the other day in one of these streaming, I was like, oh, I remember that. What was your opinion of Blair Bush Project? Um, when it first came out, I thought it was okay, it wasn't like my favorite new movie or anything. Well, I don't know. I kind of like the old school horror. I like Nightmare on Elm Street. That was my favorite horror movie. Did that and like Carrie. I liked it. It was kind of different. I don't know. It's like low production. I, I guess what added to the lore, like people, some people back then thought it was like real. Yeah, I remember that. And so that added to the whole, you know. Well, I remember everyone said how scary the ring was. And like me and some of my friends went to see the ring. Yeah. And I didn't think it was scary, but my friend did. It freaked him out, but I don't know. I didn't think it was. It wasn't a horrible movie, but it wasn't like. Well, that that's know. the thing. It's hard to get me scared anymore. Like the Abigail movie, uh, it's not scary. No. It's bloody, but it's not scary. No. It's kind of funny in some ways and campy. So. It was fun. Yeah. What kind of vampire are you talking about? Anne Rice? Yeah. Twilight? I like that. I think Anne Rice had the best vampires. Right. You need to watch Interview with the Vampire. I can't believe you've never seen it. Trust me, it's better than The Omen, and I think you would like it. And Tom Cruise, he's good in it. Mm -hmm. Anne Rice did not want him to be Lestat, and she apologized after because she thought he did a good job. She wanted he's River, a good actor. She wanted River Phoenix, and like I think River Phoenix would have been good too. But at the time, they didn't know if he was like a big enough. I mean, he's a big star, but he's never really the main lead right. in a movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was in some movies, but they were usually like indie type movies, right. and so. They wanted somebody that had more bankability, I guess. Right. And so that's why they got Tom Cruise. And then so he was supposed to play, River was supposed to play the guy that interviews him, but he ended up dying. And so mm -hmm. Christian Slater was the interview guy. You know, the weird Christian Slater just like dropped off the map. He was mm -hmm. kind of a big star when I was growing up. And now you don't like hear that's about true, him yeah. anymore. You yeah. kind of talk like Jack Nicholson. Yeah. He had that voice. Yeah, it's fun going back. Uh, I. I read online that like most of the games that are people play now are like before not too older games, like before 2018 or something. I believe it because I mean, I play, I've got some new games for the um, PS5 and they're fun, but they're not, I don't know. They don't, I don't get as addicted to them. Mm -hmm. Like some of the games from the old days, man, you could just get so sucked into them. Yeah. And other games I bought have really got sucked in except the, the ones I've already played before. Right. Like I got that, uh, um, what's it called? Like the re-roll of Katamari, which mm -hmm. is basically the first Katamari, but they polished it up and added a couple of new levels. I beat that already because it's like super addictive, but that came out, the original came out in 2004 or five, I think. So it's like, yeah, you're right. I don't think that the games are as good as they were. Maybe on the Switch. I think they have like all the Mario games. That's what I need to get as a Switch. Well, the problem is, and Vox Day talked a lot about it. He has his own issues, but he was right about uh, the convergence, he called it. Once these uh, parasites get into the corporation, it, they cease to be about like making a fun game. It becomes about politics and trying to push, you know, right. we need more representation. Then they start having troubles. I just saw now Microsoft in their game. They don't want women with big boobs in the game because that's offensive to, to women. Who? I, I don't know. Some women have big boobs, though. I know, but they. It doesn't just, make any sense. I know. So Why it's do they just, care? because it's it's all these bitches that are in like Anna Sarkeesian and all that. Now, that's all they are. They're like Karens just well, trying bizarre, to. Because when I was a kid and like the first mm -hmm. video game I ever played was the first Mario Brothers. Yeah. And it's like the Princess Peach was in it, but she mm -hmm. wasn't like a character you could play. You rescued her. Right. And that's and considered Paper, problematic. Paperboy now. came out yeah. and I love Paperboy. 
It didn't have a girl character till the second paper boy. Mm -hmm. And so many of these games, you just had to play as a boy. I never cared when I was a yeah, kid. No. I was just about the gameplay. Yeah. It's bizarre how people get real upset about stuff like Most everyone. people don't as these bitches had to go in but there. But then they ruin like, it for they everybody. They do. And so games now, I don't think it. And it's also now they, oh, we don't want white male developers. Well, so, that's probably a big chunk of the Asians and white guys, I yeah. think, or a big chunk of the developers. It, exactly. So you get these people that really can't develop fun games. Yeah. And that's, all, that's a problem, I think, right now in the game industry. And I play older games. Newer games usually aren't that fun anymore just because of that. Stray was fun. It was fun, but. What was? Stray, about the kid. Yeah. It's a kind of clever game. Yeah, I mean, they, there's still some out there, and I there hope are, for right. independent. But as a stuff. whole, like you're right, I can go on um, my emulator and play like old games, and yeah, like, we're like really into those. Because like, every time we go to the arcade, I play Toe Jam and Earl at the Sega, and just get sucked into it. There's just some qualities. Like some games can be so addictive and fun, and others are just they have great graphics, but it's just boring. Right. And that's uh, that's something that's kind of lost. So it is. Yeah. I should I should just get a switch and then we can see that they have that Mario versus Donkey Kong game or whatever mm -hmm. that looked really cute. It even had a little story in it. And Donkey Kong was in it, and they had it at Target. You could play like yeah. the, uh, play a sample, and it looked cute. Yeah, we just have so much things that we do. We don't hardly have time to get everything done. Well, it's we just all this moving and cleaning. Once that, but still, we're real active always. It seems like yeah. So we always have stuff. And at going places to watch movies. Is I always ask Sasha, what, what's on the calendar this week? So <laughs> Sasha keeps us busy. Well, it's good, though. I was talking about her. It's good. Because otherwise, I could be just like a Unabomber hermit type of guy. Well, know? I think it's because for like, I don't know, a year I worked two jobs. So I didn't have time to do anything fun. And then right after that, almost immediately after that, COVID happened. Yeah. And so for like two years, there was nothing to do, really. Yeah. Concerts were stopped. Movies. I mean, there was like mostly old movies that we were going to see. Nothing new was coming out, and there weren't many of those. And so it was just like there was nothing. Everyone was just kind of homebound for a long time. And now it's like, oh, let's do stuff to make up for when we couldn't do anything because I was busy for like two years working. And we heard on the radio down. that John Cougar Mellicamp camp. He had a um, some something went viral on social media because he was at one of his concerts and he yelled at the audience because he said this isn't a concert it's, it's a, a show. show and i don't know what exactly happened that'd be kind of fun to see then but... he dropped the cougar and john cougar yes. on camp yeah he's i never really liked him that much i did like the song jack and diane but yeah uh mm -hmm. i didn't really ever care for him that much either to be honest he seemed kind of a jerk yeah he did yeah so, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff coming up. What else is coming up on the horizon? My here? birthday's coming up. Uh, Sasha's birthday, May 13th. That's right. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. And then mine will come up in June, June yeah. 7th. So, busy time. It is. I don't want to have a birthday. It's just one of those things as you, as you get older and you, you, you keep busy before you know it, the years ago. It is. I mean, before we know it, it'll be like near Christmas again. It it's, will. It's a lot the of crazy stuff. The faster it goes. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, you got to make the most out of life while you got it, though. So that's good. And um, what do you want to call it? Uh, good. It's almost ten. Yeah, we, we got an tired, hour, so. so this is good. And yeah, so we're kind of tired tonight. So, and uh, well, thank you guys so much, and thank you for all the music stuff. Uh, paying Sasha to sing because you got a whole list now. I do. We'll so, do it next week, or I don't know yep. when next week. Yeah. Because Saturday we got plans. Yeah. And I need to go mow the lawn, or have you mow the lawn? I know. I know. We got a we got stuff to do tomorrow too. I got to get. You know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So busy time, but a good time. And uh, tomorrow, guys, I'll be back at my show, um, the Ramsey Paul show. I kind of stay away from news a little bit in the weekend. I mean, I do peak but i'm not you know i don't know i just get tired of it all so yeah me too but i'll check it all out tomorrow and get up to speed so anyway guys thank you so much for being with us and we will see you next oh, week bye